Ten-year-old Lyra Cook Morrissey and eight-year-old Elizabeth Collins, two names etched in the collective minds of Iowans following their 2012 abduction and murder. Investigators believe the cousins were abducted while riding their bikes in Evansdale on July 13, 2012. Their disappearance sparked a massive search effort involving hundreds of volunteers in those first few days and an investigation involving local, county, state and federal authorities, all in an effort to bring Lyric and Elizabeth home safe. That never happened. December 5, 2012, hunters in a Bremer County wildlife area made a grim discovery. Today at approximately 12.45 p.m., law enforcement was notified by hunters that they had discovered two deceased bodies in a wooded area. The Cook and Collins family had been notified of this discovery. The bodies are being transported to the state medical examiner's office in Ankeny for positive identification. Lyric and Elizabeth were last seen on July 13th, 2012 on Friday at approximately 12.15 p.m. riding their bicycles in Evansdale. Their bicycles and a purse were found at Myers Lake here in Evansdale. Since that day, the investigation has been ongoing. Numerous agencies have been and are still involved in this case. The public has been very helpful in assisting with searches and calling in leads. A substantial reward has been established that leads to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons respo excuse me, responsible in this case. Despite hundreds of tips in the decade since the girls were taken and ongoing efforts of both family and law enforcement, there have been no arrests in the case that has haunted so many people for now 10 years. For several months, KCRG TV9 has been speaking to investigators involved from the start, family members, law enforcement agency, and others about the case. Tonight on the KCRG TV9 News at 10, we look back at the desperate search for the girls, a hunt for their killer or killers, and the parents seeking justice for their little girls. Our week-long series, Lyric and Elizabeth, 10 years later, starts tonight on the KCRG TV9 News at 10. In the studio, Beth Malicki, KCRG TV9 News.